Okay, it's beer o'clock again, the real ale guy. Today's beer is a beer from Bath Ales, and it's a bottle of their wild hair. Our golden organic pale ale is 5% ABV. There you go. And I pulled this one out today because I just fancied something nicely hot. Oh, there's the cap. Nicely hot, nicely malty. I just, I fancy something balanced, so here we go. I have had this up quite a while ago, and I remember it being very refreshing, very tasty. So there you go. Look at that, nice clean glass of beer. Plenty of carbonation, it's clear, it's golden, it's a two finger head, it's slightly off white, kind of white fluffy head. Let's get a nose on the beer. And yep, you get that traditional English berry hop mixed with a nice sweet malt. It's just what I wanted today, so cheers everyone. Hmm. Yes, absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. On the channel, the last, well, I've not reviewed a beer for a few days. But it's been, I love my high ABV beers. I love the big high ABV beers. They're flavorful, they're, they're, they're full of kind of, they're luxury beers, I really enjoy them. But then at the same time, sometimes, or more than sometimes, there's a nice 5% hoppy, malty beer out there that's just gonna be, it's gonna hit, the, it's gonna be the ticket, it is the ticket. First thing you pick up is a nice sweet malt. Then this is this really nice kind of, it's a mixture of English hops. Then it's a nice Hysterian Goldens as well, which I believe are from, they're, they're from somewhere out that way. Um, it's gone out of my mind for a moment, but I, I believe Hysterian Goldens because there's an evidence in my mind, in the taste, that there's a, a kind of a spicy, slightly earthy hop in there. It's absolutely smashing. Carbonation's perfect. Really is perfect. It's there's enough there, I know it's streaming away in the glass, but there's enough there to help push the flavours around your mouth. The flavours I'm picking up, I said there's a spiciness, I said there's a, an earthiness. There's also a hint of fruit. It's a, it's a slight... grapefruity bitterness on the end and it's it's going down an absolute treat the the malt there as well is a nice sweet malt it's not that baked bread sort that I often talk about it's a subtle sweet malt that's just underlying it's just all the way through from start to middle to end it's five percent ABV I really could, on a hot summer's day, drink this all day long. It's autumn, it's dark outside. It's still got enough, it's still, I haven't cooled it that much. It's been straight out of the cupboard. 
but it's cool enough in my kitchen to just still give you that kind of refresh it, it just refreshes you any time of year really. It's a definite hint of lemon, hint of grass, it's a grassy note there as well. And I've, I'm really impressed by this brewery, I must be honest, I've got to be honest. The Bath Hills gem for me is an astonishing beer, I absolutely love their gem. This is right up there with the gem, it really is. You can check them out at www.bathales.com. Um, okay. Brewed for those who know, a wonderfully wholesome golden organic ale with a fresh citrus hobby aroma and a dry bitter finish. And those who don't, we brew wild hair using the finest organically grown pale ale malt and organically farmed English hops. These give wild hair this lovely crisp and full flavoured taste. It is very crisp, which we've designed to be dry but not harsh. Wild hair loves to be stored and served cool. I say I've served this cool, it's probably about 10 to 12 degrees in my kitchen. As most of you know, or if you don't know, my kitchen's more or less underground. It's like an old World War II bunker. Um, no sunlight gets in this kitchen whatsoever, so it's a kind of a steady, constant 10 to 12 degrees. Perfect for real ale and craft beer. Absolutely smashing beer. It's kept his head all the way down. Should we give it a wash round and get it, give it another nose? Release some of these really nice aromas. Yeah, and it's there, it's malt and it's hops. Classic English bittersweet taste going on. This is an absolutely smashing brew. I'm gonna give this a very solid eight out of 10. Go and check it out. I picked this up in my local supermarket. Um, it's widely available with their Bath Hills gem, which I strongly suggest. Get a couple of it, get a couple in, get their wild hair and their Bath Hills gem, and maybe mix and match a couple, and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching me, the real ale guy. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like, and cheers.